Hi, Jeff Haynes here with My Two Common Sense. I was driving around in the car today and heard a news report about George Bush on the campaign trail for Jeb Bush. And let me tell you, the anger was like churning inside me just listening to the stupid stuff that comes out of that man's mouth sometimes. I'm going to read a part, portion of what he said today using my super nifty uh, dollar store reading glasses here. I understand that Americans are angry and frustrated, but we do not need someone in the Oval Office who mirrors and inflames our anger and frustration. We need someone who can fix the problems that cause their anger and frustration, and that's Jeb Bush. Does anyone really believe that? Does he believe that as it comes out of his mouth? Is the GOP in such a dark place that they actually believe this or that they are stupid enough to believe that they can get us to believe this? Jeb Bush is the kind of Republican that's spelled R-I-N-O that causes this anger and frustration because Republicans like him backstab us and betray us. We did not vote for like uh, you, Mr. Bush, George Bush, uh, ex-president, we did not vote for you to go to Washington and be democrat light We did not vote for Marco Rubio to go to Washington and become democrat light You know, Marco Rubio throws the word conservative around. Oh, conservative this, conservative that. You know what, Mr. Rubio, you don't understand what a conservative is. You do not love this country and want to defend this country. You, do, you love your, like, twisted version of what this country is or what it should be. As an example, the illegal immigrant thing, which is, like, has more of us inflamed than anything else. Why would a country want to commit suicide by allowing low-skilled people to come in here and go immediately on welfare rolls, to go immediately draining our education system, why would any country want to do that to themselves? Why would any country want to import hundreds of thousands of Muslim immigrants into this country knowing that a proportion of those are going to be radicalized? Why would we want to do that? Yes, there's frustration. Yes, there's anger. But unlike what you want us to believe, Mr. Rhino, it's not imaginary frustration. It's not imaginary anger. It's very real anger. You know, I know the GOP establishment wanted, uh, wanted Jeb Bush originally for the nomination, and then they're, now they're willing to settle for Marco Rubio. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm 58 years old. I have always voted Republican. Straight ticket. I voted for, you know, George Bush Sr. I voted for uh, twice. I voted for uh, Dole. I voted for Junior twice. I voted for McCain. I voted for Romney. You know, you just hold your nose and you vote. You know, I must admit, when I voted for John McCain, I held my nose and I voted hoping that he would get in office, have a heart attack, and Palin would become president. But that's beside the point. And I just won't do it anymore. I just won't do it because you have this concept that you can do whatever you want, you can get away with it, and we'll still vote for you anyway. I just will not do it. I will not vote for Marco Rubio if he receives the nomination. I will not vote for Jeb Bush. And I wouldn't vote for Chris Christie, but, you know, the odds of him getting anywhere near the nomination are slim to none. Wake up. Wake up. Because, yeah, you have an angry base. The base is really angry. And, you know, pre-written speeches and, you know, make-believe speeches coming out of George Bush's mouth aren't going to change that. Wake up, Republican Party. Wake up. <sighs> Just tired of it. Like us on Facebook, Twitter. My Tea Party website, all in the information below. Uh, subscribe. Uh, let's make a difference. Let's stand up together and make a difference. Thanks.
Hey, 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 hey.